I can talk about the weather. What's the weather like where you are? It is like plus 8 degrees Celsius. In this quick start guide, we will use vision agents to build and run real-time voice AI agent in Python. To get started, you just need to run UV in it and set up the required API credentials in a .m file. In Kesa, I have already opened an empty directory, so let's bring the integrated terminal with control and backtick and initialize a new Python project using UV. We will use main.py to integrate vision agents. You can go ahead and install vision agents. So let's use the command uv add vision agents and press the return key. In main.py, let's add the following imports. We import async IO for concurrent operations, login to provide capabilities for debugging and monitoring. Then we add the project imports. Next, I will define the main async function for call flow and the agent setup. In the main function, you specify the model you want to use. In this example, we are using the Gemini Life API. However, vision agents makes it easy to swap the LLM. For example, if you don't want to use Gemini Life, you can easily swap it with OpenAI Realtime API or implement a custom voice recognition and speech synthesis pipeline. Next, we create a new agent with the following configurations. We specify the edge network as GetStream to get a low latency audio and video transport. Then we add a metadata for how the agent appears to users. So we specify a name and ID. Then we set instructions to guide the agent's behavior. You can also add optional processes for handling audio and video frames. Processes are useful for creating physical agents and vision AI applications whereby you need to process objects in images and videos in real time. Next, we attach the Gemini Life model in the agent's definition. The next thing to do is to register the agent as a user in Stream's backend. Then we create a unique real-time audio and video call using Stream Video and launch a web UI for Stream Video. Finally, we join the call as the agent. Joining the call will open the real-time voice and video stream. Once a call is connected, we trigger a simple conversational prompt to start the voice interaction. Then we keep the agent active until the call ends. This is everything we need to do to build a very simple voice agent using the vision agent framework. We can all go ahead and run the Python script with uv run main.py. Sounds good. How's the weather where you are today? It is like plus eight degrees Celsius in Helsinki. Ah, a bit chilly then. Is it sunny or cloudy? It's a bit cloudy. Can you tell me the current temperature in Toronto? The current temperature in Toronto, Canada is 6 degrees Celsius.